was really inspired by planet Earth. It was just these beautiful HD aerials of the world. It's just a whole different way to shoot it when you can be a half mile away in a helicopter shooting totally stable images. Being able to do something new and different, that's the whole thing. Brain Farm is modern filmmaking. It was Kurt's dream to try to bring a new perspective to the whole like filmmaking creative. We started this film, That's It, That's All, and we said, let's hold like true to our roots, but like let's add the, all these new cameras, let's add all this new technology. We found out about this camera called the Cineflex. Just taking off from the runway after we rigged the camera, the first day ever using it, I was like tearing up. That's where the whole kind of progression of like my life in filmmaking started. From there, we just basically said, we have to have these camera systems on every shoot. We pulled it off. We ended up having probably eight or 10 of the craziest camera systems in the world and built custom snowmobile cameras, wireless film system. And it just ended up being like two years at school, like a completely new learning experience. For the first time, I was able to actually bring home footage and show people they you know, could share in what it was like to you know, do what we do. I don't know, I mean, looking at it like retrospectively, it's been a pretty uh, comical evolution over the past 10 years working with Kurt. It kind of all started, I used to snowboard with uh, Travis Rice, who's now one of the better snowboarders in the world. And uh, I got hurt, I broke my back a few times. I just had such a passion for snowboarding, like it was all I ever wanted to do. It was just like, the doctor said no more, it's like it's over. So I had to pick a new path and I always had this passion for filmmaking too, so I just decided like, this is the road I'm gonna go down. We started shooting, just basically me and him and a couple other guys in the backcountry. I mean, I can remember when we were, you know, $100 budget at the uh, hardware store building like dollies out of skate wheels and two by fours. This camera has to be registered with the United States of America. The system that the camera uses to stabilize itself was originally used to launch smart weapons. I have all my camera controls right here, and then up on top of the vehicle is a gimbal with five gyros, and uh, it's just super stable, and you can get images that you could never get before. We are actually on our way into Grand Teton National Park. There's a moose. I mean, this is like the endless dolly. We're about a quarter mile from this moose right now, and it's like uh, pretty stable. And it would take you like seven hours to set up this dolly track right here, and this moose would be gone after 10 minutes of working on that. This is the Phantom HD camera we got, and it basically, it shoots over a thousand frames a second in straight high definition. It takes three seconds, it makes it in like three minutes. It's just uber slow, every single little thing you could see happening. It just enhances anything that you shoot. We were in Hawaii, mounted one of these camera systems up on a boat, and the boat's shaking, going crazy, and it's just like perfectly stable image. It's just things like that that we're just trying to do, you know, push the envelope. What, you know, basically, what can we mount it on next and how can we make the next shot look insane? I really love shooting action sports and all that, but I think it's just so incredible to shoot stuff that's completely, like, unplanned and totally real, you know? When I first started doing all this stuff, I didn't really think I'd be shooting for, you know, National Geographic. If I'm going to dedicate my whole life to making films and imagery, I, I want to make it the best images I can get. And seeing where we've been the last couple years and how his innate ability to continue to push the bounds of cinematography and filmmaking as a whole. <laughs> we, got a, we got a park ranger behind us. Sometimes when you're rolling in a big, black, dirty truck, the park rangers and the police want to pull you over and just check out your scene and make sure you're all good. I've almost become like less of a filmmaker and more of like a tech geek, but um, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs>